Hey guys, Meet Ronald's Chris Tomery here with this Thursday morning mountain weather update on this Halloween. My first stop today is going to be to Keystone live camera up there. It is a clear morning across the mountains of Colorado. You're actually looking south there from Keystone towards Breckenridge, Mount Gaia, Mount Baldy. Um, they've got a little bit of snow up there on the mountain. Of course, they need a lot more. Um, the next chance of snow for the mountains of Colorado, including Keystone, it looks like around the 3rd of November, so that's coming. But here's the uh, the current radar. This is the next storm system right here. This is the weak, fast one that's going to be cruising through the northern tier, Idaho, parts of Montana, Nevada, the Pacific Northwest. It will probably brush parts of the Wasatch and the High Uintas with maybe a dusting of snow. Um, and the Tetons could see two or three inches of snow out of this. So you can see the trajectory would take it into the, uh, the Tetons. Let me take you into uh, Utah, and you can see it. It is, with that, uh, that type of movement, it, it should just barely brush parts of the Wasatch, of course, extreme northern Utah, maybe the high winters as the day wears on. All right, let me give you the, uh, the lay of the land here. So on the water vapor satellite imagery, oranges and reds are your drier air and your moistures and your whites and your blues and you can kind of see it this area of low pressure this is the one that's weak and fast that will race through the inner mountain uh, the northern tier i should say today now behind it the main energy is up here and all of this is going to be sinking to the south through the sierra and become a southern track storm and then hook towards uh, new mexico and colorado the four corners um, down the road and behind that storm there's a cold front that will come sweeping in to the lower 48 so we have all that lined up that's all in my bullet points this morning um, so the storm system is, the next one is today and tomorrow but it's weak and fast for the northern tier storm system 11 to 11 4 um, and then the cold front comes in behind all of that 11 4 to 11 6 and that is still trending pretty weak and it might actually a piece of it might actually develop into a cutoff low across the southern tier. So we'll look at all that. But here are the key time frames for best chances of snow. Uh, for the Wasatch, the Tetons, Colorado, and Tahoe, you can see the dates. A little bit of that is today, tonight, tomorrow, but more of it is on 11-2, 11-3, and 11-4. Um, here is the time height forecast, humidity in the atmosphere, all the vertical layers. Looking at a slice of it here for Steamboat Ski Area in the northern mountains of Colorado. The timeline's at the bottom. You read it from right to left, so roughly the next 72 to 80 hours. Um, so you, you'll notice there's not a lot of moisture the next 48 hours. Then we start to see the green increase at the high levels, higher levels of the atmosphere, but then it starts to increase near the high peaks, which is what we want to see. Now that doesn't happen until potentially the third. That's why I was saying earlier, I think the next chance of real snow in Colorado is not until the third or fourth, and most likely the third, and it would trickle into the fourth. And you can see that as the green increases um, on the third around Steamboat. Here is the, uh, the forecast jet stream by close of business today um, there it is a really fast flow across the northern tier with that quick shot of snow um, so let me advance this here we go tomorrow here comes that low pressure digging down through the sierra but even the numbers with this in the sierra are going to be very light and it goes all the way down to, towards um, the four corners so that's 11 2 that's 11 3 it's still sitting there over the four corners at this point, it's starting to crank out some moisture through New Mexico and Colorado, and then it kind of spins up into a little stronger storm over southeast Colorado, northern New Mexico on 11-4, and then it moves away, and then there's a cold front. You can see the jet from north to south ushering in a cold front on the back end of this. Now, that might actually, watch what happens on the last frame. You see, look at the circulation way down over the four corners. That might actually cut off in the form of an area of low pressure 11.6, 11.7, and 11.8, it kind of just meanders. So that's kind of interesting. All right, let me just look at the forecast radar and satellite here. So here we are at 5.30 this afternoon. There's your quick shot of snow for the northern tier, BC, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, brushing, brushing extreme northern um, Utah. All right, by tomorrow morning, it's basically gone. Here comes the uh, area of low pressure moving into the... Uh, the Four Corners and the Intermountain West, you've got snow through a lot of uh, the Intermountain at this point. That's 11-3 Sunday in the morning. Now, by Sunday afternoon, the low is starting to kind of pivot into uh, parts of Colorado. You can see the snow beginning to intensify over the mountains of Colorado. Still some snow in Wyoming, Utah, and we're starting to see the snow begin 
uh, to really develop over parts of northern New Mexico, especially right here where the low starts to spin up and strengthen in southeast Colorado. Now this could deliver rain and snow showers to the city of Denver. This is a better setup right here than the previous storm system. This one could deliver a little bit more rain and snow to the city of Denver, and then it uh, moves away. And then here comes that cold front on the back side of all of this, 11-4, 11-5. You can see the snow. It's very quick, and there's colder air with this. There's much colder air with this, so it should be all snow. And then that kind of moves through. And then watch what happens. It kind of sinks to the south, and like I said, it kind of cuts off into an area of low pressure, and it meanders over the four corners, Colorado, New Mexico, through 11-7, 8, and 9. All right, here are my numbers. Um, so snowfall all of today through tomorrow. Uh, maybe a, a dusting across uh, the Wasatch and the Hyuenas, but potentially two, three, four inches over the Tetons and Big Sky. Um, looking at some pretty decent numbers up through parts of Oregon and also Washington at the higher elevations of the Cascades and the volcanoes up there. Um, the second time period is more impressive. Looking at probably, and I still like 8 to 12 inches. 8 to 12 for a lot of the Wasatch, even down to Brian Head, 8 to 12 for the Tetons, Big Sky. In Colorado, the numbers have crept back up a little bit, assuming the low intensifies in southeast Colorado. Um, <clears throat> potentially 8, 9, 10 inches through Taos and, and C, uh, Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire. Quite a bit for Kuchar and the Sand Graves over Wolf Creek if we get that circulation down there. And that could throw some decent moisture over the top. Um, some decent moisture over the top of the Front Range High Peaks of Colorado from A Basin to Loveland to Longs Peak to Winter Park, Keystone. Uh, we could see 8, 9, 10 inches of snow if it plays out like this. Uh, and some decent snow up in the parts of moderate snows for um, Idaho, northwest Montana. Anywhere in purples over a foot here on this map. And still looking at some of that, uh, that type of snow up there in the parts of BC, 6 to maybe 10 inches in a few spots. So, all right, guys, there you go. That is the Halloween morning update here, uh, this mountain weather update. Appreciate you guys tuning in here today. Take care and have a great Halloween.